Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ryan Hofer, otherwise known as Authera. This video isn't going to have any fancy editing, no cool production effects, and as a result, you may feel you're not entertained by this video. That would be because this video is not created with the intent to entertain, but to inform. Video games are wonderful, and all the pals here at Ken Network love nothing more than to be able to cover these games and have a blast doing it. But the industry that these games reside in has its fair share of problems, and we'd be remiss not to cover those problems when they matter. What I'm referring to specifically today is regarding a composer by the name of Alex Maurer. She was working on the soundtrack to an indie shmup called Star Mazer DSP, and while it looks like a pretty enjoyable title, you won't be seeing any of the footage here as the developer has pulled it from Steam in response to this debacle. Before I truly get started, let me first try to refer you to several much more qualified channels that have already covered this topic. Sid Alpha, Jim Sterling, and Total Biscuit, whose videos will be in the description of this one. I encourage you to watch their coverage. My reason for covering this at all is that while Ken is a small channel with an almost negligible viewer base at this stage, this topic deserves as many eyes and ears as it can get, and if I can reach just one person that would otherwise not have been reached, I've done my job. The controversy stems from a contract between Alex and developer Imageo Softworks which agreed to a payment for the soundtrack, but for reasons that I don't have all the details to, the contract was cut short, thus beginning a dispute between the two over who legally owns the copyright to this music. Now if we look at the contract itself, it does in fact state that the copyright holder is Imageos, not Alex Maurer. And while that seems to make things final, if Alex really wanted to dispute that, her best bet would have been to contact a lawyer. Instead, in a feat of mental gymnastics worthy of the Olympics, she decided to issue DMCA takedown strikes to channels with footage of the game that, yes, utilized the music in question. It seems that in her pursuit to get Imagos to bend to her will, she's attempting to hold an entire community, as well as the content she wants to legally own to ransom. Let's talk about the DMCA. It stands for Digital Millennium Copyright Act and was created with the intention of protecting copyright holders from having their property infringed upon. YouTube implemented a system based on the DMCA that would allow copyright holders to claim ownership of their content or indeed remove it entirely if it were to be infringed upon. The system is far from perfect though and has seen multiple abuses over the years, all the way from small time companies like fun creators and digital homicide to the big fish themselves like Sega and even Nintendo. The damage that a takedown strike can cause to a channel is massive. It's a three strike system, and by the third strike, the channel is removed entirely. Many channels have died as a result of this abuse, and even some bigger channels have proven to be threatened by it. And beyond all that, Alex has managed to abuse the system in a way that truly, truly baffles me beyond belief. She's essentially attacking innocent people and attempting to garner sympathy and using her supposed victim status to justify her actions. There is no justification for this. It's not just underhanded, it's potentially a felony. False abuse of the DMCA can lead to perjury charges, and while the YouTube DMCA system isn't a true representation of the law, this is still a court case in the making. To make matters worse, when Sid Alpha reached out to her to try to get these takedowns reversed, her response was to blame Imageo Softworks instead of her taking responsibility for the strikes she filed for. The fact that Temi Neko is directing her complaints to me instead of the developer is a problem. This seems to be the general response of those who were hit with DMCA strikes. I did suggest to some who complained to me that I would reverse their DMCA strikes if they were willing to redirect their complaints to the developer or complaints about the developer. No one was willing to do so, and I no longer want to offer anyone the possibility of having their DMCA strikes reversed. Thank you. I like that little thank you at the end. If I had to try and wrap my head around this, it would seem that Alex is trying to use her victims to force Imagos to concede, and is now blaming them for the refusal to do it. Let's get one thing straight, Alex. These channels have nothing to do with your dispute with Imagos. Like I said before, you should have talked to a lawyer about this. This isn't up to anyone else. This is your problem. And aside from that, I just want you to know that you may have fucked up in a way that you will be hard pressed to recover from. The fact of the matter is Alex Maurer is not a AAA publisher with millions of dollars and an army of the best lawyers at its disposal. You are one person who has attacked many, and this hasn't even mentioned her takedown strikes against completely unrelated content. Yes, this has apparently expanded past Star Mazer and Imageos, and she's even tried to monetize her previous work through Bandcamp, selling a soundtrack for a whopping thousand dollars. 
At the time of this recording, I haven't been able to access the Bandcamp page. I have no idea if it's been taken down or what, but this is just ludicrous behavior. If any of you have been affected by this catastrophic display of a meltdown gone horrible, there is some solace. A representative of Image of Softworks is working to try to get this situation resolved, as well as Total Biscuit who's trying to work with the folks at YouTube Gaming to find a solution. I will be leaving their emails in the description, so if you have evidence that you've been affected by these takedowns, please direct it to them. As for Alex Maurer, I have no idea how you are as a person, but this is not a good look. You may be a sweetheart at parties, but the behavior displayed here is nothing short of aggressive, hot-headed, and just flat-out malicious. They say all publicity is good publicity, but that does have its share of exceptions, this being one of them. I really can't imagine that you'll be able to find work from anyone who knows about this, anyone trustworthy at least, and who knows if your career will ever be able to recover from the backlash that this has gotten you. All that said, I hope you've learned from this. And if you haven't learned the error of your ways ethically, then at the very least I hope you've learned the essence of Newton's law. This is not the first time something like this has happened, and it likely won't be the last. But just know that this is not going to end well for you or anyone else who attempts this. We will fire back. Always. Thank you for your time. I've been Authera. Until next time.